Love and light, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, thank you so much for clicking on the video and joining me. If you guys are returning, thank you so much for all your love and support. Guys, I wanted to do a new love. So I know we've been talking a lot about um, divine feminine, divine masculine, but I really want to call in this new love energy and see what it's like, right? So um, that's what this energy is going to be tonight. Let's go ahead and pray and then we'll get straight into it. Father God, angels, ancestors, divine Holy Spirit, please go ahead and bless my intuition, bless my channel. Whoever is watching, please go ahead and send them the energy that they are sending myself. If they are sending love and light, bless that back onto them tenfold. And if they are sending any evil eye, just go ahead and return to sender. In this day and age, I just like to teach the simple law that what you give out, guys, is the same thing that you're going to receive back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this new love. This new love. What can we see about this new love? New love coming towards us. What can we see about this new love coming towards us? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Clear, accurate message. Okay. Attraction. That's beautiful. So this new love that is coming towards you is going to be very attractive. You are going to have a lot of chemistry. It's going to be almost like a whirlwind. It's going to take you off, just pick you up, take you off. And like you're going to just spiral into this whirlwind of attraction, of, 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 of fun, of colorfulness, of beauty, of just like youthfulness is what i'm hearing like i'm just filled with like this real giddy kind of energy so that's beautiful there's going to be a lot of attraction i'm hearing power couple almost so let's see what else wants to come out with the evil eye being in the middle i feel like you guys are going to be very protected once you guys come into union or come into connection there is going to be a lot of protection around you guys, okay? Also, you will be healing your inner child through this relationship. So um, whether this is a relationship or just a new connection, um, this is a new love coming towards you. So this connection is going to help heal some parts of your inner child. That is very beautiful. Also, isness. Isness is all that is, all that we are. We are one with with everything. The, you know, like one with the universe, one with us, and one with God. So I feel like with this, you are understanding when you're healing your inner child and inner child wounds, you are also understanding that you are this person. This person is you. We are all one. So it's almost like a mirroring a mirroring that you guys are doing you guys are bringing out healing that you both need within each other and you guys are being able to heal one another through this attraction through this through this connection very beautiful okay they're telling me to switch on to the decks what can we see about this connection moving forward what can we see Kiss me, remember being in the chest for you from the first time. So your heart is going to be beating from the first time. Do you remember feeling my heart beat in my chest for you? So there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. You're not mine and I'm not, and I'm not yours. Stand your ground. All right, so seven, stand your ground in this perfect connection, right? Stand your ground to claim this in, right? I feel like there is going to be a lot of outside influence, but yes, you guys are going to need your solitude. And yes, this is a single person here, but I feel like you will need your solitude in this relationship. So you guys will be needing to stand your ground and also retreat into each other, right? You guys are going to also need to learn how to just keep this to yourself because a lot of people don't want to see you happy, don't want to see this connection thriving, don't want to see you too in union right 
and um, accelerated motion. So once you stay in solitude and stand your ground, this connection will have accelerated motion to thrive, to, to get that wishing star, to fulfill both of your wishes, whatever those are to you guys, you guys will be able to fulfill those. If you keep Keep the connection between yourself. Don't let so much peers and outside influences into this relationship, especially not in the beginning. You guys need to be able to solidify and ground that relationship and get to know each other and just build on that bond. And once you do, then that accelerated motion is going to come in. That is a beautiful connection. Wow. Anything else for this new love? discontent and boredom okay so i feel like right now maybe you guys are in this in this discontent and boredom right under wondering when is this new love coming in i know that it's supposed to be happening i know i want this stability with four coming out i know i want this 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 um land of honey and milk but i'm here still when am i getting here spirit is saying just hang on a bit longer your new love is right around the corner very beautiful what else spirit what else for this new love that's coming towards the collective energy? What else can we see? Third eye chakra, yes. So yes, tap into that third eye chakra whenever you're having, which is six. So this is also past life connections, right? Um, whatever your doubts are, whatever your... Um, questions are tap into that third eye ask god and ask your ancestors and your guides for the question um, for the answers that you have um ask the, your guides for the answers to your questions that you have okay and then when with doing that meditation tapping into your third eye um just really um also pulling back and staying in solitude if you have questions regarding this new love right that's the best way that you're going to um gain the answers that you're seeking okay let's go ahead and clarify this is going to be a short reading just so you guys know it's not going to be a long i just wanted to do a quick little overview of this new love situation that's coming towards the collective we do see that there is going to be a lot of attraction there is going to be a lot of healing in this relationship in this connection but i do also see that there's going to be a lot of outside influences in the second row here and this is spirit and god telling you to stand your ground keep this relationship to yourselves in the beginning stay in solitude retreat when you have any um instead of like if you guys are going through issues or if you're going through second guessing or mental conflict instead of going to a friend and venting to them um go to god right a lot of times when we go outside ourselves and ask um friends and peers and family about people and connections that we are um you know um connecting with that's when a lot of that chaos and drama and all that all that extraness extra energy that is really not needed right so um when you come into a relationship it should be you the partner and god like a trinity right and i think that this is what spirit is saying and if you do do that if you do follow that then that accelerated motion will come um will take off and then that discontent and boredom will um leave okay so you just have to tap into that third I to gain the clarity that you need, which is very beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. All right, can we get clarify a little bit deeper? Okay, we got three cards. Oh, wow. Okay, I see it clearly. If you guys are still holding on to some things, some people, places, things that are um, blocking your new love from coming in, it's time to let go of that resistance, right? It's time to surrender that resistance. Let go of that grip, right? Allow, um, allow spirit and God to um, guide you and lead you and just have the patience, right? I know a lot of us sometimes go outside ourselves and like, okay, but I've been single for such a long time or I haven't seen anything come in, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it come in for me. Well, spirit is saying, I'm guiding you. I'm guiding you into that land, right? I'm guiding you. So trust me, just have the patience, right? Everything is on God's timing. It's not my timing, right? We have to understand that it's not flesh. It's not, our, it lean not on our own understanding, right? Lean not on our own timing, right? Because our ways are not his ways, right? And then that unexpected and look at two people, which is what? 
which is seven. So it's that perfect, that perfect connection will be coming into fruition if you just have the patience for it, which is very beautiful. Okay. They're telling me to move on. Spirit is very clear and direct tonight, which I love. Okay. Can we get any energy on this new love? Any personal energy to dive in? Who are they? What are they like? Any, any insight for this new energy? Okay. You know, I'm not even gonna take these. I'm really not because I already know what came out. And every time, guys, every time I use this deck, and I've done a few readings, but okay, I don't really do tarot and they're telling me to mention it because I should. But every time I use this deck, I have to say to this deck, but every time I use this deck, I pick up on karmic energy. It really is descriptive for like the karmic energy and the cards that just flew out was this new love's attachment or you know something that they have to re like let go of the resistance of and i'm not even going to dive into that spirits like that is so old that is so like it, it's not even it's not even something to even talk about anymore but it to me it feels like every time i use this deck the energy of the karmics want to come through and i'm just like if I have to, if I want to give them that space and that freedom to communicate, then I will. But other than that, like, I have no, I, I have no need for it. Why? Because this new relationship could involve a wedding, could involve, this situation could involve a marriage, okay? So maybe that's why that energy wanted to come out because they want to make themselves known like, hey, I was married to this person or hey, um, I'm still married to this person or hey, I want to be married to this person, so take it how it resonates. They're also telling me to address that maybe this new love that is coming towards you um, still has some kind of um, drama, some kind of external force that is negative, that is still lingering on to them, okay? Maybe it could be a wife, maybe it could be a husband, maybe it could be a, you know, whatever. Take it how it resonates, but with this coming out, they want me to address that, okay? So just be cautious of this new person coming towards you. Um, there is going to be a lot of attraction. There is going to be a lot of healing. But there is a lot of, in the second row, how I said, there's a lot of outside external sources um, that want don't want to see you happy, that don't want to see this thrive. And then with that whole karmic energy wanting to pour out right there, um, then yes. And it was a queen of swords in reverse. So it's like, that is a... You, if you if you like that is like the worst a queen of swords in reverse that is like the most vindictive very rude speaking always argumentative you know it could be an air sign but take it how it resonates okay i'm not even going to dig into that because this energy is too beautiful but let's see any love advice from the angels for this new love to come in what can we see any advice Okay, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And that's kind of just with the solitude, right? So you guys are going to need to just kind of get on this escape. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So I feel this is like also clarifying the resistance. It's time to let go of the resistance, take control of your life, and then um, bring in and call in all the blessings and that harvest that you want. Okay, what else can we see? Oop, two cards fell and we'll take those. sorry guys okay calling in your soulmate wow your prayers affirmations and visualize visualizations help bring you two together okay so you guys need to spend some time um in solitude and just manifesting even if your um true love isn't in your life your soulmate isn't in your life the more you can envision yourself clear some space set a space at the table for them um fluff the pillows on the other side of your bed um clear some space in your closet you know whatever it is just to kind of um get buy a new toothbrush i'm hearing buy a new toothbrush and set it in the jar as if there's somebody that is going to use it even if there's not it's leaving space right it's leaving that door open 
it's creating that space and when you start doing that then spirit and god is going to say okay they're ready for this let me go ahead and bless them with it and send it in okay so that's a good idea um this could be the one you have already met the romantic partner you seek and that goes ahead back with attraction so i love how it just kind of finishes and then ties in back to the beginning so this could be the person that you are um, seeking that you have been praying for that you have been wanting right there's going to be a strong attraction a magnetic um ag a magnetic connection is what I'm hearing. Very blissful, very childlike, very innocent energy, um, very youthful. Even if you guys are in your older years, very youthful is what I'm hearing. So that is beautiful. We're going to go ahead and get one angel guidance and then we'll close on up. Thank you guys so much for liking the video thank you for everyone who is subscribing to the channel and reaching out for um, personal readings i appreciate all your support you guys have no idea how much you have made this platform possible for myself so i really i really appreciate all of it okay card that came out is time to go the sun sets and rises each day and it is the same with the avenues of your life. See the beauty within each sunset. See the beauty with each sunset in your life and know that the sun will always rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of new beginnings and we are with you through each phase and cycle. Okay, so I do feel like with this karmic energy that did pop out and the resistance, I do feel like there is an ending that needs to happen. And with this um, purple, which is following your third eye, right? So there is some kind of... Um, situation maybe a person that you need to release that that in order to claim in this beautiful attraction this beautiful new love you need to release something someone someplace it's time to go just like the sun rises and sets each day know that that's the way of growing right i love change and and yes i do understand that change is hard change is very difficult change is very uncomfortable but change is necessary to adapt, to grow, to gain wisdom, right? And then when you surrender everything, even when you're going through the hardest, most toughest times of your life and you surrender it all and say, hey, I know that God is here for me, that is when you're going to reap and, and see all the rewards and blessings that God can do for you, okay? So if you are in this situation where you know you have to let something go, you know, just take everybody else out of it for a second because i feel like a lot of people are like oh but i'm doing this because i need to do this for this person or i'm i have to take care of them or i have to do this you know and it's like you have to understand that god is going to help them the same way that god is going to help you and if you're at this point where there's a lot of stagnancy and there's a lot of like um just non-excelling non-growth then you know okay i've done all that i can do here and i have to surrender it over to god at that point you have to take yourself out of it take the other people's um feelings out of it and understand that this is this is a situation for the higher ups right this is a situation there's bigger lessons here that need to be learned and i can't carry all the weight i can't put this all on my back i can't feel everybody else's blame i have to just do what is best for me because that is what god is guiding me to do okay so this is a beautiful reading guys i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like the video comment down below if you feel called to and if you want to subscribe to the ohana i would love to have you guys thank you so much for everyone's support for all your comments all your emails i love them all and i love you guys and i'm sending you all prayers and blessings bye guys